Welcome back to another episode of Red Hill Racing Podcast. I'm Ben Knight once again here with your co-host, Mr. 40 Time. How you doing tonight, Dustin? I'm thriving. I'm alive. I'm thriving. <laughs> thriving and alive. Let's get the latest yeah. update. You look good. We're we're actually uh recording in full video tonight. Um, so to be on YouTube. If you want to look at our pretty faces, uh, you know, you can watch on YouTube. But Dustin's looking good tonight compared to last week. <laughs> <laughs> the past three or four weeks, to be honest, I feel better. Um, went to the hospital again, you know, told me I was young on paper, <laughs> on paper, my heart looked great. So all these chest pains and contractions that I've had on my left boob, um, and my, my left arm is something else. So, um, that really helped my conscience. Cause you know, when your left arm hurts and your chest hurts on the left side and you've got high blood pressure, that's kind of scary. Right. But, um, oh, yeah, for sure. I'm, they're still there, but uh, I'm. I just feel. I think it's because I've been getting some good rest. Um, I've been resting better and uh, been working out more and making myself tired enough to sleep. That uh, I just turned the world off about ten o'clock and you know get some rest and try not to stress much. Yeah, still happens. Key. Still happens. I'm. You know. I'm getting. I got my butt kicked today a little bit that I needed a punching bag. My wife said she was going to get me one. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be an extra workout. Plus, it'd make me feel better. I'd rip that thing up some days. Yeah. I mean, luckily, I, I know I told you before we even started recording, luckily, I've been going back to the gym pretty regularly now. Otherwise, uh, I would have a, have it rough. <laughs> hey, that's how few, I get my stress out. A few weeks of uh, business owner stress and a punching bag, I could probably jump in the ring with Rocky Balboa or something. I'd be good to go. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, as always, not safe for work. We're going to lay it down. That's how we roll. Um, sorry. I don't know. I don't want to tell y'all. That's what you get when you got a hillbilly and a redneck doing a podcast. We speak. Yeah, we, we are who we are. We're not <laughs> going to change and be fake. So. That's right. That's right. You get the real us. That's what y'all signed up for, I think. Anyway. That's what's good, that's what's good about the show, really. I mean, <laughs> who wants some yeah. fake shit? Not me. Nah, we, uh, we, we be keeping it real. That's yeah, keeping it real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh Dave Spell when keeping it real when it goes wrong. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it goes wrong. Oh yeah, for sure. Um shout out to our sponsors, Worldwide Bearings, MPS Racing, Penske Racing Shocks, who correct me if I'm right or wrong, I mean. Uh they'll be at the track this weekend. Right? I oh I ain't talked to Dustin. I don't know. Maybe Usually not. he mess. Usually he messages me after hmm. um, the podcast, so I'll find right, out Dustin, tomorrow. Dustin's going to look that up, see if XDA has anything. I'm going to keep rolling. Yeah, keep MTC rolling. MTC Engineering is another sponsor, and they will be there. I know they're going to be there, right? Si, senor. Si, okay. senor. So go vi- stop by uh, Eric at MTC Engineering. Platinum General Services. Uh, Ralphie will be in the house. Don't go talk with him. It's his vacation. <laughs> Leave my man alone when he's there racing. He's there to have fun. Uh, but we appreciate the so- support from Platinum General Services. Schnitz Racing. Uh, looking forward to seeing Trevor and uh, hopefully Ryan will be there as well. I uh, love seeing my sh- Schnitz crew. Sorry about to get tongue tied and not even drinking. Um, Kevin at Manchester Mines. Hoping he's there as well. Um, uh, Love seeing him race that six second uh bike and top sportsman. Um, according to XDA's page, Penske Shocks will be in the house. All right. Shout out to Penske, Dustin. Uh who else? Eric? Is them Eric guys Penske? named Dustin is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric will be with you. Sweet. Um, yeah, Eric will be there. Um, if you have a shock and you got questions or you're interested in the shock, there's no I mean, to be honest, if you have time. Those guys can work on your shock at the track with the rig they got. So yeah. don't be afraid to go over and talk to them. Be like, I think my spring's too stiff. Owe them some money. They'll change it for you real quick. That's right. That's right. Go see those guys. Uh, if Bad nothing ass. else, That's if, what you're it not is. Even, uh, if you're not even in the market for a shock or for service or whatever, uh, run by. See uh Yeah, go Penske, by and say, man, MTC. Ben and Dustin talk about you all the yeah. time. <laughs> Just tell them we said to go by and see them. And they'll uh, yeah. probably put a smile on their face. It'll be like, they might give you some stickers or something or, you know, whatever. It's hard to say, but go by and yeah. see them. Um, you spinning, you ain't winning. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, we got Montgomery Motorsports, uh, Hard Times Parts and Service, of course, Night Marketing Group, Energy Coil. Uh, shout out to them. That's uh, who Michael Schmalley picked as uh, his giveaway, big giveaway the other week. He got them quick, those. too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah very cool. On top of it. 
was on yeah. top of it. I had him in, in possession. Val was on top of that as well. So, That's good uh, people right there, man. Mr. Small is good people. And of course, Val, energy cool, good people. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool to see. Uh, first big giveaway. What are we going to do for the next one? I don't know, man. 15,000? I don't know, man. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll come up with some. We're, we still everybody's got... gonna have to put in that work. We got to get there. We got to. <laughs> we need more downloads, more people watching, so we can, um, or listening, whatever, um, to to get there quicker. I mean, I would like to say another ten thousand, but Lord, you guys need to get your cousins and brothers in here to get there quicker. <laughs> yeah, we we ain't got all day. Uh, we'll see. We'll let y'all know when we figure it out. But uh, just keep in mind, we still have uh the frame short short neck service from uh, Manchester mind and Kevin. And then we have um, Mr. Burkhart with the uh, carbon fiber tank shell, right? So BMS motorsports <laughs> got those two to give away. And, and we still got a Penske shock. That's right. A whole Penske shock. <laughs> yeah. We know how we're giving that away though. That's uh, that's a little bit to be uh, probably going to sell some tickets for that bad boy too. Yeah, Every, yeah, everybody, but don't worry, everybody that's a patron, patron drinker, uh, Red Hill Racing Podcast.com. You subscribe, yeah, that on there. five quantity of five subscribers, y'all are all getting entered, but <laughs> we're gonna also sell like one time, uh, one time, uh, tickets for that as well. So, anyways, uh, last but certainly not least, we got the university win in BMF Motorsports. Um, shout out to those, those great sponsors, those great companies. Uh, support them they support us um and also you guys we appreciate y'all's support without the subscriptions and patron signups um yeah we wouldn't yeah, we, this thing yeah we <laughs> couldn't even be able to pay for the website fees every month so yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody forgets that a while ago yeah everybody forgets the i don't know what 400 hundred worth of cameras or so and um uh, 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 websites are, do cost money that you have to pay for every month there's things that has to be done <laughs> We got a little bit of overhead. Hell, We're doing some things. This, uh, a- this pretty little uh, Amazon light to light up my pretty little face and show my gray hair so y'all can see. Yeah, it, so. yeah. I got we, some. We're you trying. can't see it. Headphones cover mine. See, I'm. Oh, yeah. wait. There it is. Look. Whoosh. That's, Racing I, stripes, brother. Racing yeah. stripes. That's self, self employed stuff right there. Oh, yeah. No shit. Didn't have it until it. I went into business. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. I was about to say uh, I do have a, a plan of something that I want to give away for. Um, the listeners but um i'm waiting i'm gonna hold Ooh. it to myself i gotta Ooh. get my i gotta get my money right my money's funny so i gotta get through this like dustin keeps buying inventory spot <laughs> that makes me broke and once i can like start turning some inventory that i keep buying and making money then i'm gonna do something but right i, I know what i want to do i just ain't said it yet there you go buy some parts from dustin buy some parts from all our sponsors spread the love around uh put yeah. the money everywhere um, I'm about to have a t-shirt fire sale too, by the way. <laughs> I'm tired of looking at them. Hold on a second. Hey, what are you doing? That's my dog barking. Sorry. I don't know if y'all could hear it. Look um, like he scared the crap out of you according to the video. Me. He did. He was right behind me. <laughs> <But his laughs> headphones is mostly dull everything. I can't even hear when Tiffany walks through, but he uh, So this show, good. we might talk a little bit about our past weekend of trying to race and <laughs> yeah, then that's right. talk we about what we're going to do this weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Um, yeah. Yours so was better than mine. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and get into it. But we're going to do a little XDA preview. But uh, Dustin and I both attempted to race this weekend We or this past weekend. We were both unsuccessful. And by that, we both got uh, rained out pretty much. Um I ventured down to Colonial Beach Dragway. Um, apparently, my dad said we went there when I was a little kid, but I, I guess I was so young. I know I don't remember it. I don't ever remember going to it. Cool little track. Um, you know, I liked it. It was definitely reminiscent of you know your backyard hometown track, but I don't. You know, it it was in pretty good shape. Uh, it seems like they take pretty good care of it. So. I had nothing but good things to say about it. It was uh Darian Payne, Nandu's bike fest. Uh, I mean, he's been doing it for quite a few years. Uh, first time I ever went to it. Um, not gonna lie. ten ten dollars uh, bracket shootout, 64 bikes. Uh, you know, I was going to try to run down there and grab some, uh, grab some cash if I could. <laughs> so, uh, I double, well, you kind of did. Uh, I, yeah, we'll get to it. You're spoiler. You're spoiling it, man. Spoiling it. <laughs> uh, but uh, I mean, you did grab some cash. Yeah, yeah. I spent some cash too. Uh, I was double yeah. entered. 
long story short ran down there met up with uh the squirrel himself uh Kyle Pardon, Bill Maturo, Rico and Boo. We had we had a big crew. And then of course it was filled, filled with uh some XDA hitters regular. So I guess everybody was amping up for this weekend's bike fest. So it was uh it, I'm not shitting. It was a list of heavy hitters for sure. So basically how they did it is we just drew cards. They had a really cool banner. Um you know, all printed up and everything and wrote in it on Sharpie where everybody drew their cards. Um, really cool. I think, I think they gave it, give it to the winner. Um, unfortunately we didn't get there. <laughs> Man, go hang it up in his garage for I, next year. I <laughs> reckon so. Um, so basically it went like this, uh, first entry, first round, uh, or no, I guess, let me take a step back. Uh, unload off the trailer, take a look around, um, walked up uh, to the starting line, you know, anytime, anytime you go to a new track, uh, you should do this. And I try my best to do as well, you know, make sure you walk up or ride up to the starting line, check it out, ride up to the top end, make sure you know where you're turning off. All that's just and check out the shutdown know. for sure. Yeah. Because you, last thing you want to do is be riding a bike and then paint it. Cause you don't know where the hell you're turning at the end of the track or, or don't know how long the shutdown is. So Went up yeah, there and you did can't that. use MapQuest. That's <laughs> <laughs> shit. That one was good, man. You you are turn left. Yeah. Make a U turn. <laughs> oh, man, that's right. I haven't heard that in a while. Man, now you gonna got me off on a tangent, man. One oh. time, uh, I think it was MapQuest or something. You could download different voices. I downloaded yeah, like yeah, Arnold, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he was like, he was like. Hazard ahead, get down. <laughs> like, it was like, he was like, make a right ahead now. Watch out like, for the sand trap. Yeah, it was, it was hilarious. Oh. Anyways, so let's We're idiots. Off. Yeah, well, <laughs> we think this is why y'all like us. We don't know. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> all right, back to the track. Unlo oh, so the first thing I noticed, I'm like, damn, this tree is close, like close to this uh, starting line. Which I love, Dustin. I'll tell well, you. you can sneeze on it, from what I understand. Pretty much is what it seemed like. So went up there, unloaded uh, first pair down the track because I was trying to get some hits in. They had like two hour open testing tune uh, before. Uh, I was twenty off the hit rip, and I was like, "All right, we we're working with some." Come back, uh, change lanes. I was twenty red. I was like, "Oh shit!" Uh, <laughs> you know, I was like, "It can't be that much difference in lanes." So I forget it. Um, come back again and i was 20 again i was like all right we're good uh so get ready first entry first round um let go seems pretty good uh my opponent went red get the ticket i was 40 okay you know not not mad not uh but it, and it's not terrible for me you know when i throw up them 60s all the time come back around hey, for, that's, uh, that's second, impressive uh, yeah say i know right I mean, <laughs> come back around for my second entry and uh like i said it was full of heavy hitters so i got clay davies first round on my second entry uh you know i, I knew it was going to be a tough race clay was dialed i think of 533 um i had just went i basically went like 549 three times in a row so i said you know what uh i'm gonna dial a 550 um, I feel comfortable with that. Let go. Uh, Newt, you know, I said, you know, you got it. You don't have to hit it good. Um, it's clay. You know, he don't mess around. I know that, uh, that's an OG He's been raced for a long time, been a badass for a long time. So I let go start going down through there. Uh, didn't really have to look cause I mean, it wasn't that much of a differential. Um, about three 30, I was like, shit, this isn't good. I, th I think, I think Mr. Davies is going to come around me uh, a little too early and about 500 foot. He just rolls right around me and um, wasn't nothing I could do. So I rolled out and uh, yeah, I rolled out and he rolled out his wind light turned on. No surprise to me. Get the ticket. I'm 30. So I wasn't, you know, I'm like, all right, that's not bad. He was 13. So I'm like, all right, well that, that didn't help. And then the bike ran off uh, for whatever reason, slowed up uh 300 set pass. So just kind of sitting there. So, is what it is. Uh, come back around second round. Um, I believe that opponent went red. I think, yeah, I think my opponent went red that round too. Um, of course, I happen to be 60 that round, and you knew there was going to be a 60 in there somewhere. So now we're getting a, to normal. Yeah, yeah I lose with it. Th that's why I said I lose with a 30, win with a 60. I'm like, shit. Uh, we're getting ready to go up for a uh, third round, which would have been 16 of us left and it started raining. So we threw some stuff in the trailer and hung out for about two hours. Um, 
long story short, kind of got together, um, and they decided to call that, uh, call it because, um, you know, they had some grudge racing that I think they might have did that evening. Um, that was always the plan. It was, uh, you know, more of a grudge event, I think. Um, so yeah, they they called that. It worked out. Um, I think everybody, you know, that was still in sixteen entries got like eight seventy five. I think is what it was. So, um paid for the weekend or paid for the day so. yeah i mean that 16 got more than other ones did you know what i'm saying so. oh yeah yeah so that's kind of how it went um there's a little bit other stuff going on there we'll talk about later on in the show but it, it was a it was a good little event i enjoyed it so shout out to darian and then Irvin. uh he was helping with that as well help put that together so that was my little day of racing. Tried to get in a little practice for XDA. I don't know how much it helped, but uh, I tried. So what about you? You uh, ventured down to Knoxville? Yeah, I mean, Knoxville changed their schedule to like the summer schedule. You know, like most tracks do that because it's hot as crap. So they went from starting at like 11 or 12 to like 4 or something. So we, me and Harper jumped in the truck and cruised down. And it's pretty nice when we got there. It was like, I don't know if I got there like at 3 o'clock or something and uh, unloaded and the longer I was there, the hotter it got, which sucked. <laughs> but um, we should have just started earlier, I think. But um, we made our qualifiers. Actually, we went for our first qualifier, and the sky was like, you know, like whitish gray in little spots here and there, but the rest was blue. But somehow it was raining. It was weird. Hmm. So we sit there in the lanes on our bikes while it sprinkled until it quit before they would let us go. And uh, we ended up going, and um, I was on Old Faithful, and – Kind of a good thing I went because it didn't shift auto shift stuff again. I guess um, it just didn't shift it. It left. It had to try twice for second, and then when it went to third, it just tried and it didn't take it. I just got out of it, and uh, I go back and I was double entered. I you was riding the truck. Take it. You won't. Yeah, take it. I'll get. I'll get to that here in a minute. <laughs> I was giving it. It pissed me off real good, you know. But uh, um, I go back, jump on the trunch pull because I double entered just because you know I'm racing the trunch pull this weekend at XDA. So I figured I better ride it some. So off the trailer, Oh three, a little slow and like a six Oh one, which was kind of weird, but you know, first pass, whatever, um, go up for the second qualifier and, uh, Oh faithful leaves. It, uh, took second and then, Oh wait, it wasn't second qualifier. This was first round. Now they didn't have two time runs. They had first and second round buyback. So I'm cool with just one time run. If you're going to have buybacks like that, but, um, I was racing my buddy Brian Baldwin. He's like, now come up here and go oh one one dead on on me. I said, well, I might go oh one one but I don't know if it's going to shift or not. And I'm going to try auto shift because I can buy back. You know, and if it don't shift this time, I'm going to button shift it. And uh, he was oh one one I was uh, <laughs> oh two 2 or 3, and it didn't take third. And as it was trying to take third, I said, I'm over you. And I grabbed the nitrous button and just let it try to keep banging it until maybe it took but it didn't it didn't care like the nitrous didn't help it shift at all um i was kind of <laughs> yeah. hoping it would just hang the rod out the front of it that way i could just put it on the damn, damn side burner for the rest I'm, I'm just that over it you know i know that's that's what i'm saying that's rough that you're that yeah over. and uh i go back jump on the trunch pull and i'm oh two you know just bow right out and the other guy went like oh wait i'm sorry i was oh one he went way red we dialed like the same like i think i was 100 slower and he left before i did and uh it, it it goes from a 601 to a 592 because the first pass it's always slow and i'm like well good thing i got nitrous because picked up a 10th yeah uh, yeah 900s you know and uh well i know it was, you told it me was, beforehand it, it picks up from the first and second pass but that's a shit ton yeah, that's Literally. what i said i'm thinking you know it'd be cool if i have data so i could like see what it did the first pass but i don't have data because it's stock everything so um i i I just go to the dial board and flip it over and put a 592 on it and be like, all right, cool. If it feels slow, I'll just spray it. You know, it's what nitrous is for. I like to party. And then it started raining and we sit around, put the bikes in the trailer, just sit around and a couple hours and they got the track dry. They called everybody back up that was running and um, uh, the tree messed up. It got, like they didn't cover the tree up when it rained that little bit. It didn't rain hard. It was just like a lot sprinkle. But somehow the tree tripped out, and uh, I don't know if they didn't cover it. I wasn't up there, but something happened with the tree. By the time they got the tree figured out, it started raining again, and then that was pretty much it. So the winning situation of this is I found out my bike wasn't going to shift when I come to Maryland. That's that's good to know, you know. So mm -hmm. um, And the other thing was cool was on the way home, we stopped and got Waffle House. Oh, so, nice. 
Hell yeah, that made it all better. You know, I had to eat all day except some combos, and you know, I wasn't. What would have been cooler is if you were wearing your Waffle House Worldwide bearing shirt. You know, I had it on the day before, uh, and uh, yeah, it got well. me. But um, um, the good thing is, is I come home, I unload my stuff like I normally do. I went to the hospital yesterday or Sunday, and then after that, I come home and got my stuff out, and uh, um. I tr- changed my bracket back over to version six of Holly. It's been V4 since 2019 or 18, whenever I put the Holly on it. And I just think that's the problem. I think that uh, that version, you kind of have to trick it into shifting. And I think this point in my bike's life, everything is kind of tired and it just don't cut it no more. So we put V6 in it. I'm going to test Thursday at Maryland and uh, hope it you know shifts. Uh, shout out to my homie Gage, Mr. Pro Stock. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. He was... He was arms open on a Sunday when I said, hey, man, I'm going to swap this thing to V6. I think it'll fix my problems. He agreed. And I said, can I send you my file to make sure that we get it set up right? Because you have to change, like, inputs and outputs for the V6 because it's got, like, a race transmission or whatever. And uh, he was, he's you know, an amazing friend, man. You know, he he done it. I tried to pay him. He wouldn't take nothing. And I was like, well, I'm going to give you something. And he wasn't coming to Maryland because he has to do the pro stock thing. I can't get him bang bang shrimp from uh-huh, foxy uh-huh. fish so uh i guess next time i see him i'll do something you know just to tell him i appreciate it even though he was being a friend uh, i i feel like i owe him something anyway um thanks to him for helping me out making sure i didn't click on the wrong thing and i did kind of bench test everything it works so i'm going to go up there and just send it I, I, she had points at 11 too just cross your fingers and if she dies, she dies. I got two other motorcycles. I will spray the Trunchable's little soul out to run 560 right. if I got it. That's right. We got so, backups. I got some bikes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, well, realistically, like on Sunday, I could ride my top sports and bike on motor in 560, and it, it'll probably run oh, right yeah. on 560. So I might have to recruit somebody to push me because they're back-to-back classes. But I will spin the Barons in them all at this point in my life. I don't even give a crap. I will blow them up. That's just where I'm at. I, I got I a spare you. 1507 on the floor. It's just asking to go home <laughs> anywhere. Ronnie Ron wants that. Yeah, he does. You know what? <laughs> I, I, I want to talk about motors for a second. So a good friend of mine here locally, Marcus Moore, he listens to their podcast, him and his son, Grady. And uh, I've been not doing real well health-wise, so I really he, – he thinks he spun a Baron in his Busa motor, and I don't really have time to mess with it right now. I, I, I will, but just not like, oh, I'll rush it and get it done this week type deal. And I was like, hey, just come to the house and get this stock motor I got in the floor. He didn't think I was serious. And like three or four days go by, and I'm like, are you going to come get this motor? Are you going to wait till like the week of the next race to come get it? And he goes, you're serious? I'm like, well, I mean, it's just sitting in the floor. Like, you'll at least if you put it in your back, it'll verify it's a good motor because I have no idea. I bought it like it is. I don't, I was told it was good. So he come today and I kind of yanked some stuff off of it that's just going to be in his way. He could put his stuff on it and picked it up. What kind of service is that? You come to hard times, you get a, bar, a, lo- a loaner motor, a Hayabusa keychain that I had laying out there, a couple parts you needed, and I smack them on their butt and send them on their way. You know, you can't beat that. I don't think I would advertise that. <laughs> well, you got to be a special person. That the re- like, I wouldn't even loan my brother that motor because he couldn't afford to replace it, but Marcus can. So he can borrow. <laughs> oh, oh damn, poor Corey, poor Corey. Hey, I'm just that's the way it is. You know uh, what I'm saying? Like uh, you can I buy. Mean, hey. I told Marcus, I said, hey, you put this motor in, fired up, and the rod knocks. Sorry, you put it in, and it runs good, and you take it and race it, and it runs good, and then it blows up a month later. You got to buy me a motor. <laughs> that's just the way it is. <laughs> I mean, that sounds that sounds about right. So I don't. I also told him a little bit of Days of Thunder. I was like, hey, if I got to race you at Knoxville, you can't run me with my own motor. You got to go put that thing in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Speaking of that, I might make a successful 460 debut this weekend. We'll see. We'll see. Did the bike get done? You uh, don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they Max said it was getting wrapped up today. So, uh, which well, y'all wow. will hear this on Wednesday. We're gonna but, uh, we're gonna hopefully be on an episode of Straightliner. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, I mean, y'all know the struggles we have with Max, uh, immaculate, uh, rowdy 460 bike, uh, last race, um, wasn't going straight. It's Mac. Uh, you know, he's going to put maximum effort, maximum money towards it. Um, you know, he, he wants shit, right. So had a new set of wheelie bars made up. Um, uh, Mr. Schultz from, um, HDFR. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Mike Schultz up there. 
hell of a guy, good fabricator. So um, that's like team old school, man. Them yeah, guys are cool yeah, as yeah. shit. Exactly. They're like the guys. you know like the brute force trauma like fucking badasses. Yeah. Like <laughs> so, so Mac had some uh, Mike make some new bars, and uh, apparently after he had new bars make, and uh, I guess they were getting fit up and all uh there was a crack in the frame um so uh that had to be fixed so that probably had something to do with the boomerang effect oh yeah if you're Maybe. Watching, you can see uh me grit my teeth a little bit so yeah um long story short a lot more time a lot more money spent um so yeah cross fingers uh max gonna send her down through there on thursday and uh once uh it gets a good straight seal of approval if that's the case i'm jumping back on her so I think I can ride that thing if it goes fairly straight. Well, I mean, they're easy. You know what I mean? Like, well, the thing is, I was telling you the other day, me and you was just talking about it, that um, like on a bar bike, if they make a straight, clean pass, like you learn more about moving the bike around and like the shut down and turn off the track. Yeah. So then if you get a bunch of clean passes and then something does go wrong, you've learned enough on the, you know, the shutdown and the return road coming back to your pits that you instantly know how to move the bike to, to react to bring it to where you want. So if it does do something later, you'll be prepared. But when you get on something they never rode it before and it's wanting to go, you know, one way or another every time and not straight, it's kind of tough because you haven't even learned how to ride the bike yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Yeah. And like you said, I mean, you know, you and I discussed this for a while the other day. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm glad that I I'm not glad that w- there was issues. I'm glad that, you know, I was having to try to learn to ride versus just yeah, yeah, yeah. So you learn people. a lot that weekend, yeah. and you got to shake, you got to get the shakedown stuff over. Yeah, now exactly. you know exactly how to ride the bike. You know yep. what I mean? So, so now we're gonna see. Uh, so yeah, that's the update on that. So speaking uh, of to be XDA determined. pregame show, that's where we're at, right? I mean, we kind of just started, it, I guess. So. Yeah, pretty much. So uh, that's what's up with that. You'd mentioned uh, Rowdy, so. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, it is the FCA number one go bike fest. The, the number PGC. one mother trucking goal for What's me that? this weekend. Do you want to know what my number one goal is? I know what you're uh, going to say, but you're wrong. Not go red. Kind of. That kind of goes with it. <laughs> I thought you was going to say something about Foxy Fish. That's like number two goal. No, nah, I was going to say um, not go red. Uh, wind toss. No. Uh, no, nah, I done done that. Um, all right come on uh, man oh i know what the number one goal is yeah um i hope that you and i go to the finals friday night in the gambler's race. <laughs> <laughs> i just want to go back third round team bro team. if i jump on the trunchable and i haven't raced this bike in a quarter mile ever first of all ever like not even when it was a 1000 been the past like when i it's never been down the quarter mile that i've owned i think it. it's going to go 925 that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping like 20s That's or teens. Prediction. That's my prediction. Like, that's 25. what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it runs nine twenties to teens. That's a good spot for Dustin oh, for the tree man. for the tree. That's that a good a place good, for me. I'd love. Uh, I wish this damn blue bike would act right. I wish it has, oh man. I, yeah. I just wish it would act right. I love riding a, a slow bike. Um, actually, I, I, I maybe Friday I'll throw you. I want you to ride it. It's a fucking sweet little ride, man. It really is. It fits you better than it does me. Um, oh, I'm uh, sure. Yeah, I, you know, it's it's a little bit of an elephant on a piss hat type deal for me. It feels the like yeah. that one time I owned a, th- a thousand, and you know, and everybody knows I'm not a big guy. I felt like a monkey fucking a football. I'm sorry. Yeah, That's yeah. What it feels but like. it rides so good. I mean, like, I, I don't even think about riding it. Um, it's not perfect. I mean, I got zip ties holding the gauges in, but that's, you yeah. know. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, zip it is what it, they, it, the, the zip ties and the ferret is what's holding ones? it in. Look, I got one right here. No, See that? no, it ain't got that. Now, they're the Metal plastic prong. ones. Oh, I got the But, shit. um, my my i really would like to, to i'm riding that motorcycle unless something happens testing i'm riding that motorcycle in the gamblers and the bracket bash um two things cool about that is is so old faithful just be set up for 560 i don't have to swap it back and forth you know during saturday's crap you know qualifying and all that stuff and then going for the bracket bash and um plus i get a time run because that bike won't be going to the racetrack at all saturday oh, so i'll actually no. get a bracket bash time run which is cool um, and, uh, the other, the top sportsman bike will just be, you know, qualifiers on Saturday and then top sportsman on Sunday. So it does suck hauling three motorcycles, but, um, and it don't have a kickstand. So if you guys see me what? struggling in the, yeah, man, it don't have a kickstand. I have a DME triangle for it. You don't have an extra kickstand laying around. Oh, the frame. 
Yeah, man, when they cut the frame up for a Busa motor, it really don't have a spot for a kickstand no more. Now, Damn. this winter, that bike is going to DME to get a header made for it. So I already asked Demi, hey, you know, can you hook me up with something? It ain't got to hold me and the bike. Just hold the bike up. You know what I mean? So if we can make a special billet mount that goes in the motor mount bolt. To just kind tell, of, him to, tell him to do a little thick wall on that header and just lay her over on the pipe. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not doing that. But I, I gotta have a. I can't. I can't live like this with the the, the no, Busa motor yeah, and the no. Jigsaw frame. It just don't. Uh, it, it it's the, the Brock's pipe and stuff. It, I'm just. I gotta have a custom header made to make it to where I'm happy with it. But anyway, we need a kickstand. At, we need. Yeah. Well, I, I've done talk to Demi and said, look, look, you know, it's got a big, uh, like a U shaped mount on the frame. And you could probably make a billet piece that bolts up and goes right against the frame so it can't rotate and just have a tab off for a kickstand. And I can cut one short and one whatever. It don't have to hold me sitting on the bike up. It just needs to hold the bike up. So yeah. it will have a kickstand for sure. It's just not right now. And I do have a DME triangle stand that I'll probably take up there and like let Dave hold it or something for me and figure it out maybe. I don't know. Oh, or just yeah, get in the yeah. back. That'd be good because you'll have a backslay at your trailer, right? So you backslay at the trailer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I can. There. Okay, that won't be that bad. Yeah, I might have to like ride up and like swing up to where Dave's at and get the triangle, then go get line or some shit. But uh, um, well, or maybe somebody can sit on it for me while I go get it or something. I don't know. I, yeah. I mean, worst case, I can, you know, take a block of wood and put it in the middle of the lanes or something. We'll figure it out. I mean, I'm not, really, I could just ride up on the scooter, and if the line starts getting short, then go up there so I ain't just stuck on the bike. But yeah. either way, it's just for the gamblers, and the gamblers goes quick, right? Like when they call us up, we usually run pretty quick. There's not a bunch of sitting around, and then the bracket bash, kind of the same. So um, I'm excited so, to ride it. It's a sweet little ride. If y'all see Dustin uh, in the lanes on the Trunch Bowl this weekend, make sure he's got uh, he doesn't need his triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be like, hey, where'd you stand at? Right up there. You go get on your scooter for me. I appreciate it. You know, but um, um. Man, bike fest, biggest, uh, biggest XDA, probably uh, pretty much the biggest. It's yeah, we're gonna go ahead. It's the biggest motorcycle race of the year. It's, a it's not a motorcycle race. It's a festival. It's an event. It's an event. Biggest event yeah. of the year. Um, yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> These can you? We're scared to death. Is what uh, we are. It's gonna uh, be ninety degrees. I hope the yeah, humidity is good. I'll tell you what. I didn't mention about last weekend. So like I had said, I, you know, I've been pretty good working out and stuff lately and drinking a lot more water. Um, dude, I thought I was going to fucking die last weekend. <laughs> Racing like literally one class and thought I was going to I die. wish you could race one weekend in my clothes. Like just my yeah. weight, my thickness. It'd be, I know, you'd, but fucking, dude, I, you'd be like, bro, how's this guy do it? <laughs> I think, I think what after, after the fact is when I think I figured out what happened the day before Friday, um, I was actually working on a, a piece of property that I I bought, purchased for Airbnb stuff. Anyways, um, I'd rented a skid steer and I spent all day working on that, hauling gravel, um, then unloading the gravel, then you know, getting everything smoothed out with the skid steer. Never stopped eating lunch. Uh, actually, did not bring enough, you know, liquids, water. I, I seriously, my dumbass brought a Gatorade for some reason. I really wasn't thinking. So for I worked all, all day. day. Yep, yeah, worked all day, depleted myself. Then the last load of gravel, I got the dump truck stuck. So then I almost didn't get the skid steer back in time to the rental place. Uh, still had the dump truck stuck, by the way. Had to get that out Sunday. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think that's why I felt so shitty on uh, Saturday because hot, humid. I mean, I, I bet I sweated five pounds out. I, my, my shirt was completely soaked. And like I said, I was only running one class. So and I only made I would love to have a class. skid steer. Oh, man, I love those things. They're so badass. Um, I'm picky though. Like if I get one, I want like one of the tinted windows, the AC. Like I want a nice one. Tinted windows? What the hell? You need tinted windows? Have you not that. seen those? No, nah, I've never seen a skid Bro. steer with tinted windows. Wow. Oh my god! These got these guys get them now. They tint the windows. They got because you're in the thing in the summer sun. It keeps the sun out. Oh uh, yeah, I guess that does make sense. Huh. Yeah, man, they're badass. Like the caterpillar I ones. Steer. <sighs> I swear, one day I'm just gonna like quit everything I'm doing now and just start mowing yards or doing like excavating work or something. I just enjoy it. I just want one because they're handy for like, if you got to move oh, things yeah. at home, I mean, I got well, a tractor, but it don't like move heavy, heavy stuff. Like a skid steer wheel. Well, we got a back, we got two backhoes and like I, they're useless almost for what I was trying to do. Except for when I had to pull the dump truck out on Sunday morning. Now, if you got a big a tractor back. with a float bucket, then you could really do gravel work with it. But if you ain't got a float bucket, they just don't. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
So, anyways, we're getting here. We go again, rambling. Um, <laughs> hey, it ain't chickens. Yeah. We're talking about tractors. Yeah, I got a love for tractors, tractors and mowers now that I have land, guys. I'm just saying, like, I go by people. I'm like, look at that nice tractor. I bet they got all kinds of money to have a tractor <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? Tractors are fucking high. The hell, a nice zero turns like fifteen grand now. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That is that's really crazy. Um, I'm gonna buy a mower and put behind my razor. Yeah, there you Let's go. Drive around. So XDA this weekend, uh, what we got to talk about beforehand? <laughs> Who's going to do what? Before, you, so gamblers race, you're going to. I'm, I'm going to suck like I have the past three freaking races. How about that? Now hopefully I'll do good uh, because a lot of times I go in very positive and I get my butt kicked. So. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm looking forward. Didn't get to make the last gamblers race, so I'm looking forward to jump back in that. I, I am glad that I am. Um, we're back to Maryland. Not Maryland, Baron, New Virginia. Really? Hmm. You like Virginia because yeah. you have that slow tree thing, and I don't like Virginia because I don't have a slow tree problem. Uh, you, you like trees closer to you. Yeah, but the Virginia not closer to VMP. Oh yes. No hell no. It's oh, the same yes. as I, I. I would bet a lot of money that's it's within a foot or two of Maryland. Okay, maybe the rollout's shorter. Something's different. Yeah. Uh, it's I don't, uh, to me, I don't um, a hair. I'd say it's a hair tighter. Jason, Jason's got that record setting rollout at uh at Bud Creek. At Maryland, well, I go buy pro tree stuff. So at Maryland, like in five sixty, if I leave low like four grand, I have to turn the top bulb off. And I can go to Virginia and leave it four grand and just kind of go in a little yeah. and I can be okay. Oh, tree differences. Um, yeah. It's a life we live. See, that's something that people think, you know, like every track's different. Yeah. University of wind shit right there. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Actually, well, um, I want to get gonna, to that in gonna, a minute. In a minute, we're gonna go. Minute. We're gonna go. Uh, first, we're gonna foxy fish Thursday. Well, I am. I don't know about everybody else, but I'll ride my sure. scooter there if I have to. Um, yeah, we're going and then we're going foxy fish on Thursday, and then it? and then Friday we're gonna test a little. I'm testing Thursday, but that's pre foxy fish, and then um, we're gonna test a little Friday, then um, do a little gamblers racing, and uh, see what the uh, the the race gods are going to bless us with if it's going to be uh, red apples or slow green <laughs> apples, great apples. Well, I mean, I'm a pear guy. I'm really into mangoes right now. That's so <laughs> off subject. Wow. We, uh, has any man. listen? Has any of these listeners ever had just fresh mango? Fresh I mango. Even know if I have. I don't know. Unfucking believable. Like I'm on this mango kick. It's the weirdest fruit ever. I can't decide if it's like. <laughs> Here we are. I can't decide if it's like a pear or an apple or it's got like an orange. It's it's odd. It's a very odd fruit. I, I like it. We're on this the is the Red Hill uh, Food it ain't Podcast. Chickens, yeah, if it ain't chickens, it's mangoes. If it ain't whatever, it's food. I don't know. I've been um, eating more fruity stuff. I'm trying to be healthy over here. That's fine. All right. You're on the right train of thought. Um, What are we looking forward to uh, this weekend? I, I'm ready to see some real street action. I love watching real street. Um. I actually got asked to ride a real street bike, um, but yeah, too much going. Hope on. it's hope it's all motor. <laughs> Funny. Um, anyways, I'm I'm ready to see some real street action. I, I'm, um, you know, we had what uh, am I excited to see? Two different winners so far in real street, right? We had Cortland, and then um, who won last race? Why can't I remember that? Who did win real street last race? Cortland won the first race on the all motor 1K. Bro, you're um, really asking this? Oh shit, Spencer won. Never mind. <laughs> That's why I, I forgot. Yeah. Dum dum. Big dum dum won. Uh our buddy um, Spencer won. Okay, so yeah. Basically, but here's what I like about Real Street right now. Cortland won the first race. Spencer won the second race. Big Dave's just been well, I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say, but he's been laying it down, just huge numbers um all around. So I don't know if he's having issues. Just, Rule you know. change. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't know if he's having issues like later on in the weekend after laying down these ridiculous forty passes or what. Um, and then of course you know, all motor guys. You know, so what, I'm looking. What are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the grudge stuff on Saturday night. Oh yeah, I think that. Um, Spencer's uh, heavy trip. hitter bike. Well, you know, we might even have both heavy hitter bikes. It's not. It's not positive uh, yet. 
but it's uncertain still a little. Um, but if not, we're going to have uh, one heavy hitter bike and maybe a nitrous bull bike. Oh, right on. So I'm excited to see some new stuff. Um, see what things do with 60 pounds off of it. Be pretty, pretty cool. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm excited for the race to see that stuff. I'm also kind of excited to ride myself a little bit now that I'm feeling better, you know? Um, yeah. Uh, at steel, I was sick. Virginia, I was getting over being sick. Uh, Etheridge, I was new blood pressure problems feeling weird. And this will be the first race that I, Still not back to normal, but I feel better now than I have the past three. So yeah. we'll see. No, I'm I'm super excited too. Um, probably most. We don't because... sound like it, guys, but we really just like we're so used uh, to this. It don't really like we're not like yeah, jacked up, let's rock and roll. But well, we like I, I would it's probably just routine. Be like that if uh if I wasn't you haven't done all a my damn shit. thing. Yeah, I, got, I haven't done anything. I got to load everything up. Where's I, my stuff at right now? Um the stuff i have for you or no 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 no, your shit's loaded you know what the the only thing i don't like is i don't like having my bikes loaded like strapped down and everything like just sitting in a trailer during the heat for a couple days on end i don't know it's just weird i know it doesn't matter but it's just me in my head it does not matter fuck them box but hey maybe that's why (laughs) maybe that's why they uh put up with the lack of maintenance and prep that i do because they're like oh he's not putting us in a hot box for two days they'll be fine they, they got feelings they got feelings too much. they sit outside at the racetrack in the sun half the time it will be yeah, fine sure. i don't know uh well, I ain't had no if time. it ain't hot enough to blow the burst disc on my nitrous bottles they'll be fine because all they're all in there too yeah yeah i guess that is true um so no yeah i'm really excited gotta get all my shit loaded up um i don't know what i'm gonna do that because we got a university of wind call tomorrow night uh dustin will be driving to the track but i got that call um by the way, University of Wind, open Zoom call, invite to everybody tomorrow. Um, so basically, we're wanting y'all to come see what you're missing because yeah. I know, look, I'm going to be straight up with y'all. Some of y'all are like, oh, I know everything there is to know about bracket racing. I don't need no help. I don't need no pointers. Well, I freaking promise you, I feel like I know a lot about bracket racing and there's shit in this that I didn't know or I wasn't completely aware of. If that tells you anything, I mean, I, Ben's got written tutorials that I've read, or you can listen to them if you're like me. I don't never mind. Let me take it back. I didn't read them. <laughs> I listened to them because there's recorded I ones. Read. I don't like reading, but I listen to them while I'm working sometimes. And there's things and points that's made and stuff in, about what we do in bracket racing and all that stuff that I wasn't completely aware of. Because the cut and dry method is you you know you 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 cut a good light and you run your dial in right. Yeah. There's way more to it. You can learn more about it if you're in the university to win. We ain't telling you here for free, but he is going to have the Zoom call open to all. So the people that maybe is following us but ain't sure they want to sign up, maybe they can get a little taste of what they're going to get. And they'll be like, oh, shit, this is worth it. Look, last week we had four winners, I think. Yeah, four winners. Yeah. That was all students. And now Adam Sharan, bless his heart, he's been on a freaking (laughs) roll. But he was already a good racer. But then he learned things, you know, in the school that we've all talked about. And it just it just enheightened him even more to be in a on fire. Like he's not stopped winning, you know. And uh the the best one that me and you're pretty proud of is Luke, right? Oh my I mean, goodness. That's Luke's that's been racing else. for twenty years and just now got his first win. Yeah. And that's look, awesome. Look, uh here's the thing. It, and gave Dustin, the credit to Ben for helping uh, him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, that's what I was going to say. So here's the thing. We, that what, what's so cool that, you know, we could have never predicted about this, the school, the university of wind is the wide range of people we would have. So as Dustin mentioned, um, Adam, I mean, he's an NHRA division champ like that. He know, knows how to race guys. Yeah, he's a good racer, um, but <laughs> he we, knows uh, he has said in a couple of times we've seen like, like, no shit light bulb moments like we'll be talking about yes. something. he's like oh wow and he's like it, so it's really cool to know that like something's clicking with an already well-known and good racer so that's cool and then we got the complete opposite spectrum um and th- this is not a knock on on him or anybody else um but you know luke admittedly himself was you know he ventured to the track here and there and enjoyed it but off and on for 20 years he, he'd go and he'd have fun and all, but he never won. He runnered up a couple times. So, 
you know, he actually found out about the school. He, well, first off, he stumbled across the podcast like we, like a couple weeks or two months after we started. He sent me a long email to the podcast email, asked like a ton of questions. And it was I, I laughed when I read it because we were literally a week away from launching the school. So I wrote him back. I said, look, man, you know, I appreciate uh, you listening to the podcast. I'm glad you found it. Um, I will gladly answer all your questions. But I do want to tell you that we are starting a school next week that will answer all your questions and more. Um, I think that would just probably be the best bet for you. And he said, I'm in. Just tell me when it's live. And he's um, done paid off by getting like the victory. You know what I mean? Like, it oh, just blows yeah. my mind, man. So like, y'all are missing out. Like, and me and Ben yeah. spend a lot of time. Like, every week we have a Zoom call. And we might not, like, we might move them a day or, God forbid, there could be things that happen. There's been we one that we had one. to cancel. Yeah, we missed right. one. Things happen. Life sometimes happens, but we're always available in their Facebook groups, the the private forum. Like yeah. it's just there's just so much, and we've started a, like a little family of people here, and then we all talk. And some of them message me during the day on Messenger, and we talk about things, or they get tuned in by us or whatever. It's becoming very like group effort type deal. Like we all work yeah. together to make it work. It's not just like me and Ben's barking orders. We're we're right. listening to everybody's weekend races and then we Nick's might help always them. super helpful. Yeah. I'm like, throwing in input. We got tons of people. Th- yeah. We Luke, like, Luke, the guy we're talking about, he does all kinds so of much advice. research. He like, yeah. he'll, he'll send us links, articles, podcasts. He um, reads me way more than I do. Yeah. So way Luke <laughs> literally read every tutorial. Then he listened That's, to every tutorial. Then he read yeah. every tutorial again. This man, like, I, I don't even have all this stuff done. He's got more passion than me and you yeah. right now, for sure. Yeah. We know about this stuff, but our passion, we're just so damn busy. It's like, well, I ain't got enough energy for that. You know what and, I mean? But, and, and here's the part that we left out that's super critical. Luke is riding a, bro. a Gen 2 ZX14R. It's stock wheelbase. He's foot shifting it. Foot shifting. True hand clutch. He, he's riding a super stock bike, bracket racing it. Um, and my, like I'm telling you right now, there is super stock guys here that is not consistent as he is. He's a, he's, I don't know. He's I'm a just machine. So proud. I'm just so proud. I see because, it slips. I'm like, man, I'm gonna heat over here. <laughs> but here's the thing: is that like he took. Well, the, here's the other thing with the school, like the lessons, the courses. That's the that's the proven factor right there. He took the time and effort, like. You're not just going to join and just not be involved. You have to be involved. You have to read lessons and learn on your own. You have to join the meetings. Like you got to want it. You can't effort. just join and say, I join, yeah. I'm going to win. It <laughs> yeah. don't work that way. Yeah. But uh, Luke put forth the effort. Man, just just to hear him talk about that win and everything. And then He messaged me while it was raining Saturday, and I was yeah. pumped up because I had nothing else to be pumped up about. <laughs> yeah. So um, so shout out to Luke. Uh, got his first big win. Adam won. Wednesday night, and I, I guess I think it's like Lebanon Valley's like street night. Then Saturday he comes back, wins bikes in the valley nine nine point two below. So he had two wins. Then uh, Jose Medina, uh, hopefully I said your name right. Sorry if I didn't. I apologize, man. Um, he got his second win of the year and um, second in uh, in a month, really. So, man, we they were on fire this weekend. So you're gonna listen to this on Wednesday morning, Wednesday day, whatever. Wednesday night. And, you know, we record on Tuesday nights usually. So Wednesday night, um, I guess it would be July 12th. We're going to have an open Zoom call. Um, so if you're interested, join. Uh, you know, we'll be talking about um, what we talk about normally. So it's, you know, it, you're welcome to join and you're welcome. To I'll tell you this. And, and whatever you want. So if you if you subscribe to the school for a year, of course, you get like a, a discount. Right. But it, it would benefit if you wanted to just check it out. Like you could do this, you know, everybody's welcome Zoom call. And then you could also just sub up for a month. Yeah. And see and see what you learn in a month. And I, I'm pretty sure if you signed up for a month, you're gonna go ahead and just add it to a year. And and if you wanted to do a month and you decide to use do it, go ahead and go to a year. I'm sure Ben would give you like that year annual price or something. We could figure it out. Yeah. But if you come in and try it for a month and like it and then you wanna go all the way, we'll figure it out, and make the money the same. But I'm telling you and this ain't about money. We're just trying to grow the community. I mean, we got it's got to work for itself, but it's just about the community and getting more people in. Because the more people we have, the more like communication everybody can get. And before you know it, the whole group is like self-efficient. Like, well, there might that. be times that me and Ben don't right away see a comment in the forum and Adam go on there and give them an answer. That's correct. 
You know what I mean? Well, that and the more people we have, the more stuff we can do. I mean, right now we're giving away, uh, you've probably seen, if you haven't, these badass Free medallions. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Badass medallions for everybody that wins a race. Todd Heiser did those for us. Uh, we give away cash basically every other week um, to members. And then at the end of every month, everybody that, who's won a race, they get entered in another cash giveaway. Is you know It's our basically contingency. And the big one is a set of leathers and a helmet. Yeah, Vance and Sued at the end of the year, um, AGV carbon fiber helmet. Those two things you have to at least be subbed up, you know, for multiple months. You know, we're going to figure it yeah, out. Yeah, you can't sub up like one month and get that. Yeah, you can't sub up yeah. in December and get entered in the suit. But, you know, because I'd sub been, up. Yeah, <laughs> as long as you've been a member. But here's the thing like Dustin said, join it 50 bucks. You've wasted $50 on worse stuff. Um, And if you don't like it, just cancel the membership. It's that easy. Yeah, I just I think a lot of people's keeping them from joining is just a little bit of an ego thing. I mean, because I'm look, I've sit back and thought. I look at my motorcycles all the time when I'm in the shop and like, what can I do to be better? And I do feel like sometimes that I know most of everything, but I also haven't tried everything. And there's right. stuff that I've talked about mm-hmm. with the guys in this school yeah. that I haven't tried, which leads me to say, okay, well, you you haven't tried everything. I haven't potentially done everything I could to Damn. win. You, uh, now that you said that, I had already had something planned I was going to talk about la- tomorrow night, or well, when y'all are listening tonight on the school call, uh, just for the members. I- I'm not sure I will share that piece. I might, I might still. It, it was, it's something I'm going to try this weekend. Um, hmm. All right. Well, damn. I mean, well, damn, I'm going to have I'll, to go back, listen I'll, to the recording uh, to know what you're going to be trying there, uh, homeboy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I might put uh-huh. it in the forum. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, that's what's going on. Yeah, do that. Night. That way the other the free listeners don't get to know the good good. Like you guys <laughs> get a taste, but you don't get the full app. You know, we ain't giving you a whole entree. You get an appetizer. Yeah. Look, if, if y'all jump on tonight, because that's when y'all be hearing this. Um, if y'all jump on Wednesday to the school call and y'all do have questions, we will or I will legitimately. Yeah, I'll be driving. Them. I may Dust potentially be... join, but the last time I done that, I was losing signal and shit. It was messed yeah. up. Um. So, anyways, moving on. Um. Yeah, congrats to our school winners. Um, if you've been thinking about it, trust me, it's worth the money. Join up. You won't be disappointed. And if you are, just let us know. Uh, cancel any time. So, uh, XDA, man, I got to load up stuff. I got to get stuff ready. I don't know. What what else are we going to cover? We did a – I'm going to be honest. We did a shitty job of XDA preview. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the same preview we've done the three, two other times. This is the third time we've done it, right? Y'all know what we're doing. Like, I'm, we're racing Gambler's Race, Bracket Bash, 560, Top Sportsman, which is also Pro ET. That's what we're doing. We're also going to be smart. It's going to be hot as shit. So when I realize I'm going to have a two-hour wait, I'm taking my leathers off this weekend. I'm going to have my cool vest on. I'm going to have my straw hat on. I'm going to be riding around on my scooter. I am not going to die, that's for sure. I'm also thought about bringing my mountain bike. Might be a bad idea, but I could get me some riding in while I'm at the racetrack. You know, not totally <laughs> against it, you know, but I ain't got nowhere to put it, really. So I'll probably just bring my scooter. Um, bring the scooter either way. Scooter. We're going to go have a good time. If you haven't been to XDA or if you're coming to XDA, we'll see you there. Um, I also have a cool new tent set up, the the podcast uh, University Hard Times Parts tent that I got. Um, just got it because, you know, that's just how I roll. And it's it's got my boy's business and my business and uh-huh. our business, and it's just business. But um, I think we got to shout out our sponsors, and then we got one little thing we're going to talk about before we sign off. Yeah. Um, yes. Like I said, I don't know, whatever we, we got too much shit going on in life right now. So sorry if it was a little short and whatever, but, uh, Hey, also one last thing too, um, before we finish up, if you're not coming to XDA and you're out in the Midwest this weekend, Oh yeah. Dragway Dragway 42. We talked with Mr. Hollywood last week. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Good race this weekend. Go support the man cup. Uh, Hollywood and that group has a lot of money up for grabs there too. Um, you know, there's plenty of room for multiple series. Uh, and I know not everybody's coming to, to the East Coast to race with XDA. So if you're looking for something to do in the Ohio, Indiana, out in that area, or, and or if you're a delay box racer, hope you're going to Man Cup at uh, Dragway 42 to support uh, support them in the series. So plenty of racing. If you can't go to either one of those, go to your local track. Or maybe go on the boat this weekend. I don't know. It's hot. It's going to be hot. So, uh um, yeah, I mean, um, um, there, if you 
like Ben said, if you are not in the realm of or area of XDA or you don't attend XDA, but you are close to Dragway 42, go do it. If you ain't doing that, go to your local track and make some test hits. Get some seat time. That's going to be hot. So if you don't want to be there all night, make you three or four hits, load up, take your lady out to eat, maybe some Waffle House. There you go. Dessert. There go you get go. some ice cream with your lady after. It's so fun. <laughs> Uh, shout out to the sponsors, BMF Motorsports, University of Wind, Energy Coil, Night Marketing Group, Hard Times Parts and Service, Montgomery Motorsports, Manchester Mines, Schnitz Racing, Platinum General Services, MTC Engineering, Penske Racing Shocks, MPS Racing, Worldwide Bearings. Uh, appreciate the support. All you subscribers and patrons, we love y'all, love the listeners, the watchers, the viewers. Uh, we will do another giveaway next week. Hopefully, Mr. James Farmer, peanut butter and jelly won't win. <laughs> hey, don't win time. again. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, James, man. That's just that's just crazy. Yeah, You're killing sorry, man. Yeah, you can't. If you were, honestly, I'm calling it right now. If if somehow, some way, Farmer wins next week, I'm I'm spinning again. You ain't winning it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> well, we're can, giving can, two away. We'll give. I can respect that. Worst, worst case. Um. All right. So. <clears throat> a little bit of a short episode, a uh, lot going on, but, um, you know, last week we recorded on a Monday, um, and yeah, I was sitting on a, trying to relax after that late Monday evening. Uh, I got a call from a buddy. It was a terrible shitty phone call. It's not the call you want. Um, I really was shocked. I didn't really think about it or do much. I went to bed and then the next morning, you know, I hate to say it, but I got on Facebook. And I didn't really see anything. And I said, well, that, that call wasn't right. You know, like there's, there's no way that's I done the, true. I done the same. Um, and, and meanwhile, I was debating whether to, you know, put the podcast up cause it was ready or not. And then I started seeing posts on Facebook anyways. Um, we lost a good one last week and we've lost a couples uh in the last two weeks really. But uh, you know, Derek Milborn, um he'll be very missed. He was the THC king, the true hand clutch king, and I really it's my personal opinion. Um he was one of the best, if not the best, uh true hand clutch bracket racer I've ever known. Um He he was the best true yeah. hand clutch bracket racer to ever race. I don't um, care what anybody else says. I'd put him up against any of them. He, even when that bike was stock wheelbase, he killed yeah. it. Yeah. So, um, you know, we lo we lost him last week. He uh, he was. You all know. I'm not telling y'all something you don't know because the there was thousands of people. I feel like on Facebook repost like the amount of people that D'Lo touched was it was it's hard to fathom until you've seen the outpouring of love and support and everything. Um. They had a GoFundMe. Uh, Dwayne set that up, Dwayne Jackson, um, for uh, funeral stuff since it was so unexpected. And for his little girl, they're starting to trust. I know they already exceeded that goal. Um, if you're willing or able to and haven't, you know, feel free to donate to that. You can find it online. He's yeah, 20 missed, bucks man. helps. Yeah, He's I mean, it's really um, missed. He was always happy and smiling. Um, the double unfortunately, racing crew. Me and you haven't really got to see him a whole lot this year. Like we've seen him at the first race and he's been focused. He was focused on uh, his pool business. And mm -hmm. I talked to him like in messenger some and uh, on posts, like I, my wife bought a, a, like a robot for her pool. And he said, Hey, you know, send me the link to that so I can tell my customers about them. I said, cool. And man, he was just a good friend to me and you, you know, and yeah. um, he was a great person to be around. I always called him my little homie because he was so small and <laughs> I'm big old me, you know, I'm, I'm tearing up just saying it. Yeah. Um, he was uh, a joy to race, even if he lost or if he won or whatever, he made it fun. Um, he beat me several times. I looked all over online just trying to find a video of him waxing me to share or even a photo, which I can't believe there's not a photo of me and him as much as we stood and talked together in the stage of lanes. I had um, to dig back like 10 years to find one when we were just yeah, babies, and, uh, basically. But that, no, nothing will ever remove his laugh from my head. You know, he's he was a good person. Like you said, Dustin, I mean, like, I, 
it's it's hard for me to think of somebody that was as happy and laughing like it win or lose man he always had something good to say like like if you beat him he's like that's all right man i'm I'm gonna get you next time i'm gonna practice yeah like he was always positive and trying to figure out how to get better and i am you don't say this much i'm glad that the as far as i can recall and it's you know i do remember certain things Last three times me and D'Lo raced, he beat me, waxed my ass. So I'm glad that um, if nothing else, it's very well. You know I'm damn well when we get up in heaven, we can get uh, a lane, we, right? We gonna get a rematch <laughs> for sure. And I, I told him that. Uh, so that was one thing. Uh, Colonial Beach. Um, that so D'Lo was part of, and I think kind of one of the founding people of like Double O Racing. Y'all are all probably real familiar. That's like a, it's a pretty big group of some really good uh racers, close knit family friends. Um, you know, they're all they're gangsters. Family. Um, so they were all there basically at Colonial Beach, Danu's Bike Fest last weekend. We had a, a very, very nice, uh, moment, you know, there at like six o'clock, whatever candlelight vigil. Some people said some things, um, you know, on the microphone and, and just had a moment and it was just, um, it was a special time. And I, I was thankful that I could be there. I believe we're doing a last ride at XDA for d this coming weekend. I think I'd seen. Um, I've seen something about that too. Not really sure what that is, but it sounds badass. I know my man's going to be uh, looking down and enjoying that. So, uh, <laughs> And yeah. real quick. Yeah, go ahead. And unfortunately, just, just like four or five days prior, um, I didn't really mention it on the other podcast, but since we're doing this, um, Austin well, Metcalf. You knew him too. And I, I yeah, you didn't, that. right. Austin Metcalf. Uh, you know, kind of a racer down my way. Um, Chris Hill that tunes my bikes, tuned his bike, and he raced SDBA, SDBA a little bit. Uh, he actually worked for SDBA some, was like a security type, type person, helped run the lanes. Um, great, great person. Me and him always cut up and laughed and joked around. Uh, he passed away as well, just like a few days prior. Like It was like these were all within a week, yeah. both of them was. And we just keep taking hits. Um too young. Everybody's just too young. You know, it, it, it's unfortunate, you know, things happen, you know, this is life. Everybody always says God takes the best. And I guarantee you right now, d and Austin's up there and they're probably laughing together. You know what I mean? Racing at the racetrack and on the yeah. golden racetrack. But uh, I know when we get up there, there's going to be some, some serious racing going on uh, with all the other legends that we've lost. Um, but um, yeah, the, I mean, those two guys were, were, still so young had had so much more time um you know here's the thing guys real talk especially us fellas because um you know it's just kind of how men are and and how we're positioned in life hey if, if you need to reach out and talk to somebody reach out uh you know hey me and ben's here open ears anytime you want to talk about something or you got some BS going on in your life and you don't know what to do. I mean, trust, we might give, we us, might not, not give you the greatest one. answers and we might tell you some of our struggles, but we're going to listen. We can talk about it. There's yeah. uh, definitely Reach things that we someone. can do. It does yeah. it, whether us family, friend, like people are there for you and you need to get things out. Um, and that's real talk y'all. I mean, get your feelings out there. We all go through it. Trust me. There's days that I have that, you know, it's like, like what am i doing what's what's there worth for but there's always something worth it for so um sorry if that didn't come out right but you you know what i'm saying so reach out if you need a help you need to talk somebody reach out to a friend reach out to us whoever it may be um yeah don't ever feel like overs. ain't nobody there listen because we'll yeah. Yeah, we'll listen you i get messages all day every day messages me at midnight most likely i'll look at it if it's something yeah. like that i'll probably answer you but if it's about a part i ain't gonna answer you till tomorrow <laughs> yeah. don't be afraid to reach out y'all um yeah everybody's got a bunch of friends and family trust me you, you might think you're alone but i don't know anybody and i've never met anybody that's truly alone so reach out to people um one last shout out uh not a lot of y'all will know uh another another guy it's a little bit different uh scenario circumstances uh, a little bit older friend of mine some of y'all may have known him or met him if you were blessed to meet him uh steve broadstreet triple x he worked uh with uh, jason and j2 at full spectrum and when i was helping out there i rode to sturgis with that man we i knew everything about him and he knew everything about me after spending like 20 hours each way in the truck uh he passed along due to some illness um let me tell y'all, Triple X, as we called him, that was a bad dude. He was a big dude. He was like 
six three, probably three hundred, and he was a road racer, y'all. I'm telling y'all, that was a bad man. He could he could whip a bike around on track. So lots of losses in the last two weeks. As we said, um, just keep just keep everybody in your thoughts and prayers and their family. And uh, like we said, if y'all need anything, reach out to somebody. There's plenty of people to talk to. Uh, you're not alone. So that's all we really wanted to say. Uh, you know, not hate to close on a bad note, but we just figured it'd be best to put this uh, at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we didn't not want to talk about it, but we wanted to wait towards the end. Um, because it, it needed some time. Um, it's hard to talk about for us. Um, and for everybody no really. Um, so yeah, yeah, it, it hits home, but, uh, you know, we're thinking about all these people and their families and their friends and, um, yeah, we're just, uh, I'm excited, especially, I think that's part of, uh, it just feels right to go to the racetrack this weekend. Does that make sense? It does. It does. I mean, with my health stuff going on, it really puts a different perspective in your mind that you're like, dang, like we, we need to go have some fun with my friends and give our homies yeah. a hug. Yeah. And, and yeah, that's what I did last week in Colonial Beach. And like, it, like I was excited to go down there and race for the $10,000, but it, it was like, I just had to go to the racetrack. I don't know. Um, yeah. It was, I know. Hey, that's our, that's it's what our they friends did. Telling us. Yeah, it's yeah, our friends yeah. telling us. So, all right, y'all. Right. Uh, next week, we so I'm doing a little traveling. I don't even think I told Dustin yet. We're going to try our best to do a recap before I get on the road and can't. Uh, hoping to give y'all a nice big recap next week. Hopefully, Dustin and I have plenty to talk about. Um, hey, Dustin needs some good luck, y'all. Put some vibes yeah. in my way. Ben, he won last time. It's my turn. Oh, pack. come on now. Um, yeah. <laughs> See, he's stingy. He ain't going to share oh, with me. Come on, Damn. Man. Uh, so yeah, we'll have a, <laughs> we'll have a nice big old XDA recap with y'all next week. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, good luck. Either we're going to be really good or we're going to really suck one another. Yeah. So anyways, hey, we love hey, y'all. Quantity five, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. All right, y'all. We love y'all. We'll see y'all soon. Appreciate it. Peace.